would you say is your favorite class in school right now? Science. Science? How about you? Science. What is the first data that we have to gather? There is encouraging news for the future of girls in STEM. We see girls' interest in STEM is high and it's rising. We saw the biggest increase among the fifth and sixth grade girls. There's an increase in girls' interest in STEM careers, with 55% expressing interest up from 45% in 2017, according to a new study by nonprofit Ruling Our Experiences, or ROCKS. But it's not all good news. Their confidence in their abilities, specifically around STEM subjects, is decreasing. 59% of girls reported believing they were good at math and science. That's down from 73% in 2017. It's a intersection of mental health challenge, confidence challenges that then are impacting girls' aspirations and their decisions. Middle school girls in the study reporting emotional issues that were previously more common in high school. What we're dealing with is not a lack of competence, but a crisis of confidence. Similar to like when I was growing up, society made it seem that STEM was more for boys. Lindsay Guzman is the fourth grade STEM teacher at the Bilingual Bicultural School in New York City and leads an after school science club. And I think a lot of it has to be with like the culture that you build in the classroom. And then they see me also a woman in STEM. If I could do it, you could do it. Did the plant start to grow? We're not going to develop that sense of confidence identity if people from their own community aren't creating those invitations to come to the table. Margaret Koifer works for the STEM Alliance, a nonprofit dedicated to increasing equitable STEM education. There's interest, which is fantastic, but this persistence to stick to it and follow it as a career, that is the struggle when we talk about girls and people of color in terms of pursuing STEM careers. With women making up 35% of STEM jobs today, Hinkleman says she thinks that can change. The idea of taking a risk or getting something wrong is a risk that many girls don't want to take. But if we can construct environments where it's valuable for them to learn from their mistakes, I think we can shift this trajectory. And these ambitious young girls agree. What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a teacher when I grow up. A teacher? And what class would you teach? Science. Maya Eaglin, NBC News. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.